really crazy because the whole, you know, the the three years that I was at KU, I was under investigation for all three years. And it was like, you know, I told you guys what you wanted to hear and, you know, what else do you want, you want to know? And it's like, well, if you don't tell us, you know, if we don't find any type of allegations, if we can't find any wrongdoings from LSU, then you will not play, you know, another collegiate um, year. So it was like, I'm pulling my hair. It's like, I want to play. And I, and so it was like every, for the whole entire three years that I was at KU, I had some guy coming up to me. I had to get a lawyer. They had their lawyers. And I mean, it was like, I was under the fire, you know, and, 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 and just question after question after question. And I'm telling them, you know, actually what happens. And it's like, we need to find dirt on Dale Brown. And, you know, if we can't find any dirt on Dale Brown, then, you, you know, it's going to be problems for you. And, and I didn't have any dirt on Coach Brown because there was no dirt, you know, to tell them. And, and, and so it was like, you know, I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. And they just kept threatening me, you know, if, if we can't find any type of, you know, scrutiny or anything of that nature, then I wasn't going to be able to play. So I basically just told them the little small things that occurred, which I think was nothing, you know, for, you know, any athlete. But, you know, and I think they also, you know, they – they just picked on people who they thought they could intimidate, and I was that person they couldn't intimidate. But there was there was really nothing to tell them. So it was just a long, drawn out three years that I had to go through dealing with the NCAA, and you know whoever they, whoever it was they had signed on me. It was like I know the guy by first name because it was like this is the only guy I saw for the last, for the all the three years that I I was at KU. So it's. I'm just glad it's over with, uh, and you know, it's it was just it was just terrible, you know, how they come in and just just you know just bombard you with you know all these guys, all these people, and you know to make try to just make you lie, you know, you know what else do you want from me? You know, I told them what what actually happened, and that wasn't enough for them because they wanted something specifically on Coach Brown, and I couldn't believe it, you know, so. So it, it just got really ugly. And now I'm sitting here in front of, you know, these guys, you know, basically just drilling me with all these questions, you know, just, you know, just, hey, we need to find something, you know, because I know you want to play, you want to finish playing your career at Kansas. I know you want to do that. So and the only way that you're going to be able to do that, you have to tell us something, anything of the of the matter to get Coach Brown in trouble. And it was nothing else. It was only Coach Brown. And I'm saying to myself, Coach Brown has been nothing, you know, but, you know, kind and, and good to me. And, uh, you know, I that was the only bad thing. That was the only thing that I think I regretted when I left because Coach, he's been nothing but, you know, you know, real with me. And, and when I left, you know, that was the only person I felt like I let down. And that's why I haven't spoke with him for so long, you know, until, you know, until this day. And because I couldn't look at him or I couldn't even say anything to him because, you know, he was the only real person genuine to me. And, you know, and he still is genuine to me to this day. So, um, and that's where, you know, the apology letter came in and all that stuff. And, you know, it was, it was, it was, you know, at the time it was, it was, it, it was all happening so fast, and um, it was uh, it was unbelievable. I mean, it's 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 kind of hard to explain now because it's just so much stuff just going on in my head, and I'm trying to relive, recapture some of those moments, and I've tucked them away and I stored them away where you know it's in the past. But uh, you know, when I'm thinking about it now, I really couldn't believe that you know some of the coaches that I was playing for at the time was allowing this to happen to me because I was basically just screaming in my head like where's my folks where's my mom where's my parents you know help me <laughs> but uh you know one thing that I've always been I've always been true to myself and I've always been true to the people who've been kind to me so it's you know I, I didn't know what they was looking for I didn't know what they wanted you know wanted for me it basically sounded like they just wanted me to just tell them anything and that's not me to just tell you anything for you know for your liking or something like that I'm I've always been real with people and I'm you know and and there was nothing that they I could have told them you know nothing that happened other than what I told them that happened that um, that they can get from me so but they they were specifically wanting coach brown and i'm you know it didn't dawn on me until years later 
because I didn't know how big Coach was, you know, a, you know how how big of a um, what's the word? Uh, how against the NCAA he was until like years after college, and now it, you know all the stuff started making sense to me, and and now you know it started making sense why these guys specifically wanted Coach Brown because now they saw that. I left the university as one of the top rated players. Something must have have happened or, you know, something has happened. So, you know, this is probably our ticket or our way to get, get Coach Brown or get back at him because, you know, I later, later on in my um, European career, I started reading up and, you know, understanding why Coach, you know, Coach Brown was loved by many and, and, and disliked by the NCAAs. And so, it, it was just, it was just crazy. It was, it was really, really crazy and tough situation for me to go through. But uh, you know, I, I managed to, I weathered the storm, and um, you know, I, I love my life. I love what the outcome from it. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be sitting here, and be the person that I am now if all of that didn't happen. The guy would tell me, you know, just, just basically tell us anything, and anything to me is like lie, and that's what's. That wasn't me, you know. I, I'm, you know, he did nothing wrong to me. He did nothing wrong, um, never th anything that I can think of. So, um, I mean, it was just, it just got to the point where it was almost like, hey, you know, just lie and you can play. And it was, yeah, and I felt like, you know, if I was gonna play, I was gonna play regardless of if I lied or not lie. But I'm not the person to. to to, to send someone up the, up the river or whatever you want to call it. I'm not the one to, you know, if it happened, I would have told them because I just wanted to play. And whatever it, was, whatever it took for me to play, um, I would have did that. But lying is not one of the things that I would have done because, you know, I, as you can see, nothing ever came from it. And they're still trying, you know, to figure something out, you know, with Coach Brown. But, you know, he's been, like I say, he's been nothing but real to me. And... I'm not going to be the one to be manipulated or, 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 or as I would say, Debo, if you know what that means. I'm not that guy. And, and they did that for three years. They tried to pressure me over and over and over to give them some type of dirt, to tell them something on Coach Brown. And that wasn't me. And that, was, that would never be me. And I mean, they didn't care about the program. They didn't care about assistant coaches. They didn't care about the other athletes or anything else. It was just basically Coach Brown. And they emphasized that so much to where it, it just made it seem like, you know, they were just, it was like a Coach Brown get back interview or something. But like I told them then and I'll tell them now, I mean, Coach Brown has did nothing to my knowledge to, to get me to LSU or to make me want to leave LSU. So. And, and for, for the re remaining of my three years, they basically just hounded me saying, hey, you know, if, if you can't tell us something that Coach Brown has done or, or, or money's wise or something of anything of that nature, basically just telling me, hey, lie. I mean, just tell us anything because, you know, if you just tell us something, you could, com you could continue to play. And I felt like if I tell you the truth, I would be able to continue to play. And that's what I did. I told him the pr truth. I told him that, you know, certain things happened and Coach Brown had nothing to do with any of the things that happened, you know, throughout my college career. And uh, it, it, you know, it just got to the point where, you know, I got tired of seeing these guys, you know, they come in one, you know, one year, you know, basically drilling me with these questions. Then they come back the following year and it's, you know, same things. Hey. What did Coach Brown do? Did he do anything? You know, tell us something. And I'm like, I don't know what else to tell you. I told you last year basically what happened. And, you know, and it, you know, I, I just got tired of them just pressuring me, pressuring me over and over about Coach Brown and tell us something, you know, about Coach Brown. What did he do? And, and he did nothing but be kind to me, and that was the only reason why I felt bad about leaving LSU because he was nothing but kind to me, and he was nothing but thoughtful, and he was nothing but appreciative of you know my talent and my ability, and he's always wanted me to work hard and 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 and, and do better. And to this day, he's still telling me the exact same thing: work hard or whatever it is that I'm doing. And and and, and you know, he's very very encouraging. He's very very positive and, 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 and I regret not spending 
you know, my college career under Coach Brown because of, that's something that, you know, I missed, you know, as a childhood because I didn't have that, that role model and that positive figure in my life as he is today in my life. And I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing right now. But the NCAA, I mean, they're animals. <laughs> they're animals. I mean, the NCAA, they, you know, they, they, they're just like big bullies, but I was the wrong person for them to bully. <laughs> they really need to evaluate themselves and they really need to take a look in the mirror. They really need to look in the mirror because, you know, I wish no one ever have to go through what I went through with the NCAA. I mean, people might look at it and think, oh, it's just, it was a short process. No, it was a long, drawn out three year process. And, you know, taking the focus off of basketball, taking the focus off of school, taking the focus off my collegiate career. I mean, it was just the NCAA, it was like they were following me around. I mean, I, I, drop, I drop a stick on the ground. Who gave you that stick? It's like, really? It, it, it's crazy. Basically, if I had to describe the NCAA to anyone, I mean, my mom told me, if I have nothing nice to say to somebody, don't say it at all. So that's all I can say, nothing. I mean, nothing, because it's, you know, I have nothing nice to say about them. I mean, nothing. And I don't want to, I don't want to even try, because if I try to say something, you know, we will have to beep everything that comes out. <laughs> so I really have nothing to say. I just know that the organization is not ran properly. They need they need to reconsider, they need to go back and reevaluate their values and what's really important, which is the kids. And and and, and if if that if they can't look at that and 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 I have nothing to say about the NCAA. <laughs>